Caffeine is one of the most consumed drugs on the planet, but most people don't know how much they're consuming. A popular energy drink is under scrutiny. Risks are anxiety, sleep disruption, and cardiac issues. It's a serious health concern. Most caffeine shops will list the caffeine amounts on their website, but is it actually accurate? I've gone to one caffeine shop and it makes me feel super energized, and the other one, I don't feel anything at all. So today I have a caffeine tester, and we're gonna the most popular coffee shops in New York City to find out how much caffeine is in each coffee. Let's find out. All right, today we're gonna be testing double espresso shots because that's the foundation of pretty much every latte, cappuccino, macchiato, whatever you order. We are at our very first stop, which is McDonald's. I know it's not a coffee shop, but there's a creator, Ryan Trahan, if you've seen him, Penny Series, he went and got McDonald's iced coffee every single day. I wanna figure out, is the caffeine actually accurate that they post online? Do, do you take Apple Pay? Not the right video? Oh. Our very first stop, we got two espresso shots from McDonald's McCafe. Let's get testing. Scale, the caffeine tester. So the first thing we wanna do is weigh how much coffee is in there. So we're gonna use this cup. So this is 56 grams, and now I'm gonna convert that to deciliters, which is right here. Always wear your safety goggles, can't forget that. Caffeine is dangerous. So first fun fact of the day, we'll do one at each coffee shop. So from 1984 to 2004, caffeine was actually banned in sporting events, but now it's legal. And it's probably one of the most powerful performance enhancing drugs out there. We're gonna insert the tester here. We don't wanna to touch it. Probably should have brought gloves. Next, we're going to extract some caffeine. So it's gonna get the exact amount that we need inside this little pipette. And then we're gonna mix it with this substance. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, 10. This little device has like an app, so we need to turn it on. And we're gonna connect it to the app by pressing prepare. Boom. All right, and then I'm gonna hit start once I'm ready. I have 180 seconds. This caffeine tester costs like over $3,000. Each test is $10. So I really wanna thank Stardust Coffee for sponsoring this video. They help pay for a portion of this and every single time you buy one from their link below, it helps cover the cost of this tester and everything else that we bought here. So go check it out. Oh, this is why we wear protective goggles. And we're gonna hit start. So now it's gonna start calculating 281 milligrams per deciliter of caffeine inside of the McDonald's coffee. So then we have to convert this 55 grams, which is about one deciliter actually. So this is definitely 281 milligrams of caffeine inside this. And what did McDonald's say? They don't post the numbers, so we don't actually know what the actual numbers are. I'll run a second test to see if it's actually accurate. Two, three, start. 333 milligrams, so it's literally 70 milligrams more. McDonald's showed around 157 to 186 milligrams of caffeine. So this device probably has like a 16 to 18% margin of error. And Mr. Ryan Trahan, if you're getting an iced coffee that has two shots of espresso, you're probably well within balance. Just don't have too many of these. If you're ingesting that much in just this little amount of liquid and not realizing it and doing maybe multiple per day, that could be dangerous. So let's figure out if these numbers are actually accurate. All right, next up is Starbucks. Let's go inside. How's it going? Can I get to a double espresso shot? Do you know how many milligrams of caffeine is in each one? Top of my head, no. No, okay. Can I do Apple Pay? Yeah, please. All right, thank you. Let's go test it. All right, we got our double espresso from Starbucks here. Always put on your safety goggles. Bring out the scale, caffeine tester. It's a double espresso, so it weighs about 43 grams, which is less than one deciliter. So the caffeine content should be really high when we put it in here. Now, fun fact about caffeine is that it blocks your adenosine receptors and adenosine makes you feel tired. So when you drink caffeine and you're blocking your adenosine receptors, you stop feeling tired, in theory that is. Depends on how much caffeine you drink it, how caffeine adapted you are, there's just so many factors. But that's kind of why people tend to feel energized when drinking caffeine. But then the issue is, let's say you wake up in the morning and you have a ton of adenosine, you drink coffee, that adenosine is still gonna be there. The receptors are blocked, but then as soon as the caffeine wears off, you have a massive amount of adenosine that hits your brain, and boom, that's where the crash happens. Hence why Huberman recommends waiting 90 minutes. If you absolutely want to wait to ingest caffeine 90 to 120 minutes after waking. Allow the adenosine to kind of hit the receptors before you do anything. 43 grams. This looks the thickest and darkest. 10 seconds. One, two, three, nine, 10. Okay. Now, we press start. All right, the moment of truth, Starbucks says that they have 75 milligrams of caffeine per espresso shot. This is two, so that should be 150, right? This is a different blend 
So it might be slightly off, but let's find out. Oh, okay, so it says 304 milligrams per deciliter. Posted was 150 milligrams of caffeine for a similar roast. We measured around 130 milligrams, so that's pretty close. Good job, Starbucks. All right, on to the next coffee shop. Apple Pay only, no Google Ball. Wait, I'm just kidding, Google, Google, I love you. Please keep sending me your stuff. All right, as we enter to the next coffee shop, I'll talk about my relationship with coffee and caffeine. It's unhealthy, just like the relationship with my parents. Well, it's only because I'm dressing like a doctor rather than actually being a doctor in the middle of a Wednesday, so I don't know, I digress. I've realized that I tend to want to use caffeine as like a, hey, I didn't sleep, let me drink coffee. I need to be more productive, let me drink coffee. And it becomes like this crutch that I try to lean on and then I get caffeine adapted and then there's no effect. That's kind of why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to share my journey with caffeine and how it's kind of like challenged my whole productivity and mindset. But when I've started to measure it, whether it's like on the Apple Watch app and AstroCat, you can download it, linked below. I've started to understand that, okay, 200 milligrams is my cap and I try not to go over that, 300 if I'm really pushing it. And if I'm getting to the 400 mark, it's time to pull back. Like I said, what gets measured gets managed. And a great way to do that is to use the AstroCat app on your Apple Watch. And if you use the link below for Stardust Coffee, you can just tap that, it'll add 60 milligrams straight to the app. If you're purchasing coffee at one of these coffee shops or any other location, you can tap the plus sign and then you can change the milligram doses for that drink. You can see a caffeine guide, which shows you kind of approximate ranges for the different kinds of coffee. I'm a big fan of cold brew and typically that would be 120 to 200 milligrams, which is a lot. Check the link down below to download AstroCat on your Apple Watch. It'll help support the channel. So I'm just making sure I have a vague idea, whether it's in the app or in my brain, to make sure I'm not abusing this performance enhancing drug. Because it is powerful, but it can also take you down. Let's head to our fourth coffee shop. Next stop, Dunkin' Donuts. How's it going? Could I get two espresso shots, please? All right, we got the espresso shots, and I just checked the Dunkin' website. It says 118 milligrams of caffeine per shot. So I got a double, so it should be double. 7.7 grams, or 77 grams, I should say. We pull out the tester kit, take an exact dosage of coffee. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're gonna say prepare. Start. We are now testing. Oh! 254 milligrams per deciliter. Taking the derivative minus the calculations of paper versus rock, we're going to get... Dunkin' Donuts posted 236 milligrams and we measured 196 milligrams of caffeine. So a little bit farther off than Starbucks, but close enough. This is a very high caffeine amount, so be careful at Dunkin' Donuts. We're gonna be so wired today, baby, let's go. Light roast actually has more caffeine than dark roast just because they're roasting the beans less and extracting more caffeine out of it. Fun fact of the day number whatever. But wait, before we test the next popular coffee shop, I need to test our sponsor, which is Stardust. They claim that they have 60 milligrams of caffeine in their product. This is instant coffee, super easy to make. You just open this pouch, pour it in a cup, put some hot water and you're good to go. But the real question is, does this have 60 milligrams of caffeine? Let's find out. New tester in. I already poured some coffee into here and we have teared the scale. 223 grams. One, two, three. Let the testing begin. Caffeine, 23.68 milligrams per deciliter. So considering we had 223 grams, let's run some calculations. It gets us 52.8 milligrams of caffeine. That is close enough. This device probably has a slight margin of error. So I approve. If you want to get your own box of Stardust coffee, use the link down below. It is great instant coffee. And honestly, it just tastes great. Now back to the next popular coffee shop. Blank Street Coffee, our fourth coffee shop. Kind of controversial, but they're a startup. Let's go check it out. A double espresso, please. Do you know how much caffeine is in the espresso? She said it was 150 milligrams, which is approximately the average amount of caffeine at most places. But today we're gonna put it to the test. Do you know how much caffeine you intake every day? Probably too much. Too much? I think they say Do you ever like look at the milligram dosage that you intake? No, but I drink copious amounts of tea every day being an Englishman. Ah, <laughs> 16 grams. So this is currently the lowest amount so far. 16 grams, that's like a fourth of a deciliter. So I'm assuming the caffeine dosage will probably be around 300 per deciliter. Cold brew actually 
has more caffeine than any other drink. And the reason for that is because they have to brew it cold. It's not the same thing as iced coffee. And it takes about 24 hours to brew in cold water overnight. And because of that, it has the highest caffeine content. It's my favorite because it's also the least acidic. So it's gonna actually give you the least amount of stomach irritation as well. So you tend to get irritation from other caffeine drinks, especially when you don't eat food. It's probably my favorite to have fasted. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. There, searching, connected. Start. It's at 364 milligrams of caffeine. They posted 150 milligrams and we measured 58 milligrams. I don't know what was going on. Maybe I messed up the test, but this is drastically lower than expected. Don't expect the high caffeine buzz from this coffee. So this is definitely on the lower end. And remember, every double espresso is not the same. So that's kind of interesting, right? I want to find out on our fifth and final coffee shop, is it going to be drastically different than what they're posting? Or do they not even post it at all? And are they out of the average range of an espresso? Colt does not drink caffeine, yet he drinks energy drinks, which have 200 milligrams of caffeine. Go ahead, let's try this espresso shot. <coughs> Yo, that's disgusting. Dude, it's coffee, that's like natural. Your Celsius Prime energy drinks. Dude, Celsius is natural. I think it's better to drink coffee because you're gonna get all the other things that are not that are in coffee, not just caffeine. Whereas energy drinks, you're gonna get like different kinds of chemicals and things that you don't really know you want. Sometimes they have good things and sometimes they have bad things. Good, how about you? Can I get a double espresso, please? Double espresso. All right, this is our last and final shot, Blue Bottle Coffee, one of my favorite coffee shops. Used to drink this in San Francisco. You told me it has 20 milligrams. I don't think it does. Let's check their website. Just like McDonald's, Blue Bottle doesn't test their uh, caffeines that's roasted, but they do test their like cartons and cans, the pre-made, ready-to-go stuff, and they range from 180 to 250 milligrams of caffeine. So let's find out how much is in this espresso shot. Don't forget your protective eyewear. This is the smallest in terms of liquid content compared to all of them. It's at 19 grams. So uh, I'm gonna guess the caffeine content is extremely high. At least it should be per deciliter. How you doing? Good. Yeah, we're from the environmental protection, making sure that there's not too much caffeine inside the coffee because when people drink a lot of coffee, they get way too productive. And when people get too productive, then the economy grows too fast. And when the economy grows too fast, it affects the environment. Makes sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact of the day here, coffee can increase your dopamine receptors and dopamine is the quote unquote motivation molecule. So it just makes you more motivated to do things, makes you want to chase after stuff. So I think it's one of the biggest reasons that people like to drink coffee. It can increase your dopamine and norepinephrine levels. I would say it's probably a very good performance enhancing drug, but as long as you take it in the right dosages, one, two, three, nine, ten. Start. The moment of truth, the final dose. How much is inside? Do you want to guess how much caffeine is in it? 120 at least. 120, so this is a 443 milligrams per deciliter. That is the highest content we've measured so far. They posted 180 to 250 milligrams and we measured 84 milligrams. Way lower than expected. Not sure what happened here. Maybe he only gave me one shot of espresso. Like, what, what are you filming? Uh, well, I'm unemployed and I didn't know what else to do with my life. So I thought might as well go and measure caffeine levels at coffee shops. And film it. Now there are three big takeaways. Be conscious of how much caffeine you're intaking because it can impact your health. Two, not all coffee shops provide the same type and amount of caffeine in their coffee. And three, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, at Shervin Shares. I wanna thank Stardust for sponsoring this video. If you wanna go check them out, they have instant coffee linked down below as well as an app that can track your caffeine intake. What gets measured gets managed. So go check out their instant coffee and download the app. It helps support this video.